Tagalog language via Wikipedia World. Modification Constructions Introduction Tagalog, like English, has a variety of constructions that involve the embedding of certain elements of one sentence hereafter a consistent sentence, in another hereafter a matrix sentence, and to produce a single new sentence wherein a resultant sentence. The basic structure of the resultant sentence is the same as that of the matrix sentence that underlies it. But in the resultant sentence, part of or the matrix sentence has been expanded, or in some cases replaced by an element or elements taken from the constituent sentence. An example from English will serve to illustrate the relation between a resultant sentence and the matrix and constituent sentence that underlie it. First, we have the matrix sentence. The book is a novel. Constituent sentence. The book is on the table. Resultant sentence. The book on the table is a novel. In the example, the resultant sentence has the same basic structure as the matrix sentence. Subject, the book. Predicate is a novel, but book has been expanded by a phrase on the table taken from the constituent sentence. The above example illustrates one of the most important classes of embedded constructions. Modification constructions are distinguished from certain other embedded constructions by the retention within the resultant sentence of all the elements of the underlying matrix sentence. Some types of embedded constructions, for example, the Tagalog nominal clause constructions involve the replacement of part of the matrix sentence by elements taken from the constituent sentence. But in the modification construction, the matrix sentence is retained intact and elements taken from the constituent sentence are merely added to it, serving to expand a given part of the matrix sentence, for example, book, in the above English example. Strictly speaking, the term modification construction applies to that part of the resultant sentence that consists of the element of the matrix sentence that has been expanded and the elements from constituent sentence by means of which it has been expanded. The modification construction in the book on the table is a novel, is thus book on the table. A modification construction consists of two parts. First, a part common to the matrix sentence and the constituent sentence, curved by the Head. Second, a part taken from the constituent sentence, which is called modifier. The two parts of book on the table are head, which is the book, modifier, which is the on the table. Tagalog shows a great diversity of modification constructions from the point of view of the types of heads and modifiers that occur. But in one important respect, almost all Tagalog modification constructions are alike. This is that, with the exception of certain constructions, modifiers always correspond to the predicate of the constituent sentence, while heads always correspond to the topic of the constituent sentence. In other words, the relation modifier head in the resultant sentence corresponds to the relation predicate topic in the constituent sentence. To illustrate, we have here matrix, constituent sentence, and resultant sentence. For the matrix, we have novela ang libro. Novela ang libro. The book is a novel. Constituent sentence, Nasa mesa ang libro. 
Nasa mesa ang libro. The book is on the table. Resultant, presentence, Nobela ang librong nasa mesa. Nobela ang librong nasa mesa. The book on the table is a novel. The modification construction in the resultant sentence is librong nasa mesa. It includes the modifier nasa mesa and the head libro. The noun after libro will be discussed later on. Note that in the constituent sentence, nasa mesa is the predicate while libro is in topic position. This same proportion modifier is to head in the resultant sentence as predicate is to topic in the constituent sentence obtains in almost all Tagalog modification constructions. In English, the relation predicate subject is frequently reflected in the relation modifier head. But this relationship in English is less consistent than the Tagalog proportion just presented. Thus, the head book in the modification construction book I read corresponds to object of the constituent sentence I read the book rather than the subject, while the modifier I read corresponds to the subject and a part of the predicate. In the Tagalog modification construction, librong binasa ko, book I read. On the other hand, the head, libro, and the modifier, binasa ko, correspond as unusually the case to the topic and predicate respectively of the constituent sentence. Binasa ko ang libro. I read the book. There is a second respect in which, again, with certain exemptions, all Tagalog modification constructions are alike. This in their use of the device of linking. As was noted, linking is the connecting of two sentence elements by means of a third called a linker, which has its sole function the indication of a relation between the two elements it connects. The elements of Tagalog modification constructions are in the great majority of cases connected by the linker na or nang, one of the two major linkers of Tagalog. The linker na or nang has two different forms. The form that occurs in any given case is determined by the final consonant of the independent form of the element that precedes the linker. If its final consonant is H or go to stop or N, the consonant is replaced by NANG, which is represented in conventional writing by NG or NANG at the end of a word. For example, Mabuti, Mabuti, good, plus linker, NA or NANG, which we have mabuting, mabuting, mayumi, mayumi, modest. Plus, linker, na or nang, we have mayumi, mayumi, mayaman, mayaman, rich. Plus, linker, na or nang, mayamang, mayamang. As in, mabuting tao, a good modest person. Mayuming tao, a modest person, mayamang tao, a rich person. If the final consonant is not H, global stop or N, it is not replaced. Instead, it is followed by Na, which is represented in conventional spelling as a separate word, N-A, for example. Masipag, masipag, diligent. Plus, linker na or nang, masipag na. Magalang, magalang, courteous. Plus, linker na or nang, magalang na. Matakaw, matakaw, gerdi. Plus, linker na or nang, which is matakaw na. As in, masipag na tao, masipag na tao, a diligent person, magalang na tao. Magalang na tao, person. 
matakaw na tao, matakaw na tao, a greedy person. The now form of the linker now or now also occurs after a pause, whatever may be the final consonant of the word that precedes the pause. Some speakers occasionally and other regularly omit the na form of the linker na or nang immediately after one of the enclitic particles dao or lamang and tuloy. Thus, the following sentence is acceptable with or without na. Masipag dao na tao ang kailangan nila. Or you can say, masipag dao tao ang kailangan nila. They say that what they need is a diligent person. English has no device used in modification constructions that corresponds very closely to the Tagalog linker na or na. The most important grammatical device for expressing modification in English is word order, one word modifiers, usually precede and paraphrasal modifiers, usually follow the head. New book versus book on the table. In the dialogue modification constructions, on the other hand, word order is relatively free. Thus, new book may be either bagong libro or librong bago and book on the table, either nasang mesang libro or librong nasang mesa. Certain Tagalog modification constructions, however, do show word order restrictions or word order preferences. The modification construction that have been used by way of example thus far have all been a quite simple structure with a modifier corresponding to the predicate of a basic sentence and ahead to the topic of a basic sentence such constructions may be called simple modification constructions. Both the modifier and the head may, however, be of more complex structure. Consider, for example, Nobela ang librong nasa mesang mababa. Nobela ang librong nasa mesang mababa. The book on the low table is a novel. Librong nasa mesang mababa or book on the low table is a modification construction. Consisting of the head libro, a linker, and the modifier nasa mesang mababa. But the letter itself includes a modification construction, mesang mababa, low table, which consists of the head mesa, a linker, and the modifier mababa. Similarly, the head of a modification construction may itself include a modification construction. Nobela ang bagong librong nasa mesa. Nobela ang bagong librong nasa mesa. The new book on the table is a novel. Here, bagong libro, new book, which is the head of the bagong librong nasa mesa, includes the modifier bago and the head libro. Modification constructions like this in which the head on or the modifier includes a modification construction, may be called complex modification constructions. So that is the introduction. So please watch the next video and see more about modification construction. So thank you for listening at Wikipedia World. Well,